Please remember that all the opinions in the show are those of the host and should only be taken as food for thought. We're in no way telling you to do anything. Everything is kept anonymous for the safety of the listeners and no information is shared to anyone else. If you are easily offended by people's opinions or views, then thank you for making it this far, but this is not the podcast for you, so see you later. And please enjoy the rest of the show. Good morning, Dan and Jamie. I hope Jamie is feeling better. He sounded like a wounded baby bear on the last episode. <laughs> I just wanted to give him a squeeze and hug it all out. Yeah, he put on that. He put it on a bit thick, Jamie, didn't you? Oh, I put it on, did I? <laughs> I couldn't even speak most of it. <laughs> when I was, because um, I said to you, I was like, oh, just put it up. Like, get the, the gaps out and just stick it up. When I was editing the bit for the YouTube and there was like a massive coughing fit. Oh, was I was it? like, oh. I was like, I wonder if he cut it out because it was really loud. I made a joke out of it at the end. I was like, thanks for that. Oh, I was no, like, you were, I didn't you were going out. for Fucking it. Hell. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like, once you'd finished, I was like a bit of ASMR. <laughs> I can't remember, but yeah, it's fucking loud. <coughs> um, it's got to be that time of the year as I'm getting through a second cold in two months. I have a special remedy for colds, though it may help jamie's cough too try some honey port and brandy mixed up it's a lovely taste and it soothes the throat is there any remedies your families do with illnesses i know we have a few so i watched this health guy and he was saying the reason we get so many colds is because obviously your immune system is fueled by like vitamin d and then when it starts to get cold and dark we wrap up and we don't absorb as much because obviously you only get vitamin D from the sun. Yeah. That's why you should, when it gets cold and it dark early, you should always take vitamin D tablets to keep your immune system up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have port or brandy in my house. I think that's a very, like, my nan would and my granddad, but I, I never have. We do, we, well, we did. Port's a Christmas thing, isn't it? Yeah, people. Some people love Charlotte's family. Love port. It's not my type of thing. I don't. I don't like the taste of it. Um, so, I'll definitely try it though. Honey Charlotte, I brandy. think Charlotte does a very similar thing. She does like warm, like brandy and something else. It mm. might be honey. She, she does it with like a warm water. I do like warm whiskey with a bit of warm water and a little bit of whiskey. But I haven't. I haven't been able to do anything with this it's just been literally just dosing myself up on all the like the, the tablets and stuff that's all i could do when i um as soon as i get any sort of cold like my throat starts thinking i go buy the liquid beechams like all in one oh, that yeah, stuff yeah. is fucking magic i love the taste of it as well i'm, I'm happy when i get to drink that <laughs> i'm like a fucking crackhead on it i'm like oh got to take some more i take it to work with me and i keep it in the car and on my breaks, I have a bit more. Um, when I was younger, my nan used to do so like, uh, like when I have a cold, like hot Ribena. Okay. Oh, fucking beautiful, man. I don't, I don't think like if it's the Ribena, yeah, or like the black currant, but like hot Ribena is like the best thing when you've got a cold. Best thing ever. Um, and then if, like, if you've got like sickness, diarrhea, Mum would always give me like flat Coke or flat um, Lucozaid. Mm. I don't know why. Maybe the sugar. Fuck nice. I know my mum used to give us Lucozaid original because it used to, the like the glucose levels and the fucking sugars in them used to bring you up a bit when um, stand we were young. Lucozaid we original. Oh, it's gross, man. Huh? The original f- flavor is gross. Yeah, that's the only one I used to have when I was little. Though when that I used to know when someone was ill in the house, because there would be Lucas Age original in the fridge, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Who's ill? Who's ill?" And then I'd be like, trying to get some. Yeah, no, fuck that. The um, I'm, I'm ashamed because obviously my nan passed away when I was younger, so I can't really remember. Her. I'm sure she had loads of home remedies, but I thought we would um, we would just do a little Google and have a look, see what's going out there. See what the old sightness say. Jamie, Charlotte does a good thing because Charlotte has a lot of sinus issues and all that shit. Charlotte does a thing where she puts vapor rub into hot water, boiled water. 
put your head over it with a towel. Yeah, puts her head over it with a towel and then she sits there like that for a long time. Yeah. But I'm one of them people where as soon as I'm ill, I will spend 95% of my time asleep. <laughs> and then I just wake up and hope it's gone. And then when I wake up and it's not gone, I just go back to sleep again. <laughs> I um, I don't know if... I think I've mentioned it before. When I was younger, they used to do these amazing things where it was like vapor rub, but it was in like a, a little um, bottle. It looked like a little bottle and you cut the top off and you squeezed the vapor rub onto your pillow. All right. I don't think they still do it now, but I always remember that as a kid. I um, I don't even know if I could Google and find out what it's called. I think I did find it a little while ago. Um, I don't, I don't understand these like spices. So they say uh, turmeric for pain and inflammation. Now, are you just supposed to take a fucking spoonful of that? Because that would be disgusting. Oh, uh, drink a cup a per day. Wine. Oh, that's fucking great. I was just moaning about how oh, it makes everything yellow. Chili peppers for pain and soreness. That could make sense. DIY caps in coconut oil cream. Oh, okay. I might have to try that. Oh, I know about ginger for pain and nausea. Like when you get, um, when you're pregnant and you get a lot of morning sickness, they tell you to eat um, the biscuits, the ginger nuts. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that's supposed to help you with that. Um, what the fuck is shiitake mushrooms for that for the long game? What the fuck is the long game? Is that a sex thing? The long game. <laughs> it, oh, it promotes antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects as a, at a cellular level. All right, that's very boring. All right, let me put in uh, strange home remedies. I want to hear the weird stuff. People drinking like camel sperm and shit. <laughs> what was that one that Hitler was doing where he was injecting ball semen or something, wasn't he? Hitler was a fucking nutcase. Like when you look at, there's a video of him absolutely off his tits on uh, speed. Oh yeah, because they they all took amphetamines when when there was big meetings about um, like what to do with the next like movements in like Russia or fucking France or whatever, they would be like dosing themselves up on amphetamines to keep themselves awake. So they're all Good jittering deal. around, like absolutely off their tits. <laughs> uh, okay, here you go. If you have smelly feet, you're supposed to have, uh, you're supposed to soak them in vodka. Oh man, that's a waste of vodka. Soak in vodka for a few minutes or rub some on your feet to kill the bacteria. What a waste of vodka, man. Uh, oh, here's a good one for me. Sugar is an effective remedy to get rid of hiccups. Swallowing sugar impacts muscles that cause hiccups. That's what you need before you start every episode. Oh, mate, seriously. Sabina was trying to like pin me down and hold my, hold my nose closed the other day. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> and I get really annoying where like... I'll try and hide it at first. And then when you notice that I've got hiccups, I just sit there with my mouth open and it just gets louder and louder. <laughs> I'm a prick that way. Um, blend potato into a thick paste and add lemon juice to it. Mix it well and apply it over the affected skin area. What's that for? Potato for a suntan. I think it means if like you burn, it's like for burning, if you burn oh, in the right. sun. Why you do that? Onion for insect bites. Oh, olive oil for constipation. Might have to try that. Listerine for blisters. Lemon as a deodorant. These aren't weird. They're helpful. Imagine putting the lemon failing in your me. fucking armpit. Jesus Christ. The internet is failing me, Jamie. Home oh. cure vodka. Oh, yeah, foot odour. <coughs> oh, the day after the wedding, yeah? Yeah. I uh, forgot my toothbrush when I was staying at my mum's house. And I tell you what, to all them dirty bastards out there, yeah, who don't brush their teeth every morning, there's something fucking wrong with you. Because I literally 
woke up and I would I, I felt like an actual piece of shit until I got back to my house. And I was like, Charlotte was asking me what's wrong with me. And I'm just sitting there with my mouth shut. I was just like, I'm not talking in it. I was like, just take us home. Just take us home. <laughs> just take us home. And there's people that go days and days and days without brushing their teeth. like that. How can they go around with that feeling in their mouth? Yeah, I know. It, the I feeling must it. just be sheer depression. It was um, Lee Evans, wasn't it, that said that it's like a cat shit in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like weird. Crazy. You can feel it on your teeth. Yeah, it was like gunky fucking like like a coating on my fucking teeth, man. It was disgusting. Yeah. Because no, obviously you can imagine gross, I drank man. a lot of beer as well. So it was like alcohol breath. Oh, I was awful. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, these dirty bastards, man. So apparently urine kills his acne. Don't try that at home, kids. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pee on myself to uh, to get rid of a fucking spot on my nose or something. Apparently, chicken gizzards cures diarrhea. Dirty socks cure sore throats. <laughs> Tobacco cures earaches. <laughs> these are fucking ridiculous. Nah, these are all fucking horseshit. Um, yeah, so that's the only real ones I had was like the like the hot black currant and stuff like that. You were saying about the um, the hot whiskey and that, man. That's like that grog that I had in Czech. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, it can go one way or the other. It can be really nice or it can be horrible. But, um, yeah, let me know. Try the hot black currant. Just have it on a cold fucking day. Seriously, it's the most fucking amazing thing in the world. Yeah, it's about getting it in, isn't it? I don't even own black currant, I think, a minute. How can you not have diluted juice? Oh, by the way, for the American listeners, because water, because um, I know over there you don't have it. Diluting juice is basically like a syrup that we put into a glass, and you fill it with water, and it makes it weaker. Um, oh, what, they American... don't have cordials. No, they don't do it. I, I was listening to a um, podcast with Lily Allen, and she says when she visits the UK, she has to buy bottles of it to take back over. She said she oh, came wow. in and her nanny had pulled a full glass of diluted juice for her kid. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> killed someone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Can you imagine the fucking kid be bounced off the walls? <laughs> yeah, Americans do a lot of like powdered stuff, don't they? Like um, Kool-Aid and that. It's all like powdered. Oh, I suppose like our sponsor, that that stuff. Yeah. That's powdered. So, um and all like the energy drinks and that. Yeah, we actually do like it. It's basically a syrup is what it is. And you, you put it in juice and dilute it. Yeah. It's fucking tasty. And Ribena is one of the, the most expensive ones. I don't care what people say. Ribena is a fucking expensive juice. Expensive, but it's probably one of the better ones. It is, yeah. I actually, I think that's one of the one few ones that I actually prefer the sugar-free. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've not paid that much attention to him. <laughs> I do everything. I do everything, Jamie. Um, and once again, thanks for the wishes for Jamie. He wasn't putting it on, even though I wish he was. And uh, um, I'll definitely try your uh, home remedy next time I get a cold. I, I had one at the same time, but obviously mine wasn't as impressive as Jamie's. <laughs> Just keep rubbing it in. <laughs> Thank you.